lies a problem in cosmology. It's called the horizon problem. I've even heard it used as a rebuttal to the Big Bang. The Big Bang is not only my guilty pleasure, but it is also a very well supported theory in modern physics. This is the cosmic microwave background radiation, CMB for short. This radiation is a relic of the beginning of the universe. It is the earliest light possible. Formed around 380,000 years after the Big Bang, this radiation shows what the early universe looked like. We notice its incredible uniformity, and that poses physicists with the horizon problem. It points out that different regions of the universe have not contacted each other because of the great distances between them, but nevertheless, they have the same temperature and other physical properties. This shouldn't be possible given that the transfer of information can occur at most at the speed of light. One side of the universe is too far away from the other side to have this uniformity. If you take two drops of food coloring and put them both in water at different points, the food coloring will expand out from there. It takes time for them to mix. If one drop is red and the other is blue, they need to come in contact with each other before they can mix and turn purple. And that's basically the problem. The universe hasn't existed for long enough for one side to be in contact with the other in order to reach the state of uniformity. Yes, this is the horizon problem. What many people fail to realize is that although it's a problem, it's a problem like 2 plus 2 is a problem. Sure, it's a problem, but it's been solved. This is where we can begin discussing inflation. Inflation is a theory of exponential expansion of space in the early universe. The inflationary epoch lasted from 10 to the negative 36 seconds after the Big Bang to somewhere between 10 to the negative 33 and 10 to the negative 32 seconds. Following the inflationary period, the universe continues to expand, but at a less rapid rate. Alan Guth, a particle physicist, was thinking about processes that could have occurred in the early universe that might have been relevant for understanding this problem when he came up with an absolutely brilliant realization. If, as the universe cooled, it underwent some kind of phase transition, as occurs for example when water freezes to ice or a bar of iron becomes magnetized as it cools, then the horizon problem could be solved. If you like to drink really cold beer, you may have had the following experience. You take a cold beer bottle out of the refrigerator, and when you open it and release the pressure inside the container, suddenly the beer freezes completely, during which it might even crack part of the bottle. This happens because at high pressure, the preferred lowest energy state of the beer is in liquid form. Whereas once the pressure has been released, the preferred lowest energy state of the beer is the solid state. During the phase transition, energy can be released because the lowest energy state in one phase can have lower energy than the lowest energy state in the other phase. When such energy is released, it is referred to as latent heat. Guth realized that as the universe itself cooled with the Big Bang expansion, the configuration of matter and radiation in the expanding universe might have gotten stuck in empty space. And as the universe cooled further, this configuration then suddenly underwent a phase transition to the energetically preferred ground state of matter and radiation. And that's the answer to the horizon problem. Keep searching. The universe is ours to explore.